Hey friends, I'm Greg, you're watching Game Audio Analysis, and today I wanna show you a cool little sound design trick using RX, where we can basically isolate the frequencies, loop them, and create some very interesting UI um, and all kinds of other cool sounds. So let's get right into it. If you have never seen RX before, basically this is what it looks like. You've got the um, left and right channel, and then a bunch of tools here and here. And so we can select this brush and what it will do is it will basically select a frequency range, which it will then loop. But let's first just listen to the sample on its own. So we've got this drill. Now I'm gonna select the brush tool and select something and press play. So as you can see, this is a very cool and versatile tool where we can really like draw stuff, make cool sounds. How about using it on a different sample? So let's listen to this. All right, so now let's paint. Essentially, the y-axis is the frequency and the x-axis is the time. So we can make it kind of move down or up. And then we can just paint like the lower frequencies. We can make it all the way down. And then of course we can move this as well. So as you can see, it's very, very versatile. Let's try this on some impact. So the sound first. And now. And last one. And yeah, essentially what I would do then afterwards is I would record all of this stuff into my DAW. Um, I think you can run RX um, inside of Reaper or other DAWs. Alternatively, you can simply um, either route the input of your DAW to be the output of your interface, or um, you could record it in OBS or another software, and then just take that audio file, put it into your DAW, and voila. Thanks for watching, I hope this was useful, and I'll see you next time.